Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 18, and I got a quick one for you. Just uh, some notes about using a metronome and using time code for music. Vegas can do a lot of stuff for music. It's great for editing music videos or even just recording and editing uh, music. I've actually recorded a band into Vegas before. So first off, if you go to Ruler in your project properties, so you go over here to your project properties, click on it, and go to Ruler, you can select something besides your Simpty Drop Frame Ruler. This is great for all sorts of things, like if you're using film and you're measuring it by feet and frames, or if you just need something that measures times or seconds or uh, different kinds of film code. But one thing you can do is measures in beats, and this is cool because you can actually select the tempo. So this is 120 beats per minute at four beats per measure, and a quarter note gets one beat. That means you can put the whole music signature in here. That's pretty awesome. You can apply it, and then once you apply it, now you can see it measures it first measure, first beat, second measure, second beat, third measure, fourth measure, I mean fourth beat, second measure, second beat. This is particularly important if you're using a metronome. So if you want to use a metronome with Vegas while you're recording, just go to options and go to metronome, and you want it turned on. So mine wasn't on, was on, I turned it off, but now it's on. So you get a dinky little cowbell, and that's plenty for a lot of what a lot of people are doing. But if you want a custom metronome, go to preferences, go to option, preferences, and you can actually go to your audio, and then you can change some things here, like import audio at project tempo, things like that. But one thing you can do is go to use custom metronome sound and you can change the sound for the normal beat and you can change the sound for the accent. I created a little metronome beep uh, just to give you an example so I'm gonna hit apply and hit OK and all I did was take a beep sound this little beep sound here and I recut it into another wave file where it started right at the beginning of the sound. The, where I saved that file, that's just what I have mapped there. So it's very, very simple to create your own metronome sounds. Particularly, someone asked me how to do markers on the beat. So if this isn't enough, if you actually want to input a marker on the beat, then what you could do is just go around clicking M on every single beat, and that's a way you could kind of jump from marker to, from beat to beat to marker to marker. What I did was, I'm going to delete all these real quick. I created an auto hotkey script that works like this. So, first off, if you go arrow over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, every 15 arrows you hit right on the second beat. Now this gets a little bit off over time, something to do with the sample rate. It's gonna get like if a fraction of a fraction of a fraction would be off. I create it to where we can just automatically create markers with a auto hotkey script that I will leave in the description. So right now with the auto hotkey script, if I just hit control J, it'll go ahead and it will write, I have it set to 100 markers on the beat. And you can see here, it's doing so. So now if we watch it back, you'll see that the metronome plays when the markers turn blue. It does get like fractions of a beat off here at the 100th beat, at the 25th measure, which makes sense. You can see that when you zoom all the way in, 24 it's at 24 and 3 8 eighth beat and you can kind of move it a little closer to that exact for some reason the marker won't lay 100% on the beat anyway so about as accurate as you can get there you go if you have a suggestion for a tutorial let me know in the comments below I got tons more tutorials coming out all the time anything you buy through my affiliates link including this software helps me out a ton thanks for watching I'll see you next time